guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'll attempt to create a simple particle system in 10 minutes keyword attempt <laughs> so in 10 minutes we'll see what i have if i'm successful or not so uh, let's get started so i have a timer here and i'm going to start it and once this timer, timer starts i'll start i'll start coding and uh, we'll see where I'm, I, I am at by in the next 10 minutes so that's um so here i have a simple material app with simple particle system as my own so in the simple particle system class i only have a placeholder widget so i'll go ahead and replace this with uh, a sized box and the chart of the size box is going to be a custom paint widget. So it's going to take in a painter. So let's create a class, let's say particle painter. Particle painter extends custom paints, custom painter. So it's going to paint, write paints and should repaint, should repaint. You can have true for now. And here we'll implement the paint soon. So here we have um, our particle painter size box. I kind of want it to be full screen, so I'll go ahead and create a size here. Yaquery dot of context dot size. Oof! Wow, it's already eight minutes. <laughs> It's minutes left. Okay, um so you can do heights, size dot heights and weight size dot weight. And um so that's that's that. The next thing would be to create a particle object. So let's create class particle. So our particle is going to have a bunch of properties first. The x and then y then also we need to have uh, a vx and also a vy then opacity the opacity should be an integer so here the vx we're going to make it 0 0.5 as in middle like from 0 to 1 the, the middle is 0 0.5 it will make sense very soon and then here we can have um, 0 0.9 for vx that is the speed of the um the particle moving on the vertical and on the horizontal axis and then the vy is the speed of the particle moving on the uh, on the vertical axis so here we can have um let's have minus two for now and in vy we can have minus two also our opacity should be 255 so here let's try to let's try to create the particle First, we need uh, to create a list of particles. A list of particles. Um, let's make it late. So now in its dates, we can have our Particles is equals to list that generates. Let's have just one particle for now. So I have just one particle, and we can take in this particle, this particles in our custom painter list of particles. I'll make it required. Oh wow, it's already five minutes left. 
can I really do this? Let's see. Um, particles for each. Okay, change it to a for loop. So here we need to actually draw a particle. So our particle is going to be a canvas dot draw circle. Draw circle. Uh, the offsets is going to be particles dot x and uh, particle. This will be particle. Particle dot x and particle dot y. Well, oh, four minutes. I'm starting to doubt I can actually finish this in time. And then our paint can be what color is equals to uh, colors dot color dot from ARGB. So this would be 255, 255, and 255 for white. And then we have our particle that will pass it to here. So we need to put in the particles here. And let's refresh. Well, the particle is actually nowhere to be found because the current x and y are basically 0 0.5 and 0 0.9. So we need to change it to something that is actually drawable. So let's have a set position here. It should be global x position and global y position. Um, if x position is less than one and y pos, sorry, I mean x, the current x is less than one, then we can do x is equals to x position. And y is equals to y position. There's probably better ways to do this, but for now I'm kind of rushing, so I need to find a way to do to get this done. Particle dot set position this should be particle dot x times size dot width, and this should be particle dot y and size dot uh, Heights. So let's restart and see. Oh, yeah, we have one particle. Yeah, basically, it's a circle, but it's a particle on the screen. And what we need to do here, we need to animate this particle. So we have our, let's add our updates. Let's add updates. So in this update, we're going to have x plus equal to x vx same thing for y y plus equal to vy and also opacity opacity plus plus equal to actually minus we need to reduce it because 20, 255 255 is like the color is solid and then zero is it's basically transparent so we need to reduce it so here we can call particle dot updates and here we have a we have a particle moving it's moved a little bit i think yeah and then um Okay, the next thing will be to actually kind of randomize this and also have um add a bunch of other particles. So Vx can be random random in range, which is double in range, which is a, a method I created here. Double in range, let's say um minus one and one and then here we have double in range minus one and minus five 
minus 5 and minus 1 actually. So yeah, our particle is actually moving ball. Our widget is now updating, so we need to find a way to update this. Oh, just 20 seconds remaining. I think I already failed this challenge. But I'll keep going. <laughs> I'll keep going until I have it done. And uh, single ticker provider. Single, single ticker provider state mixing because we need a ticker to update our widget after every frame and uh, the timer is up. Well, I'm still going to continue working on this. <laughs> and let's have um, a late ticker. Ticker. Uh, okay. So our ticker can be create ticker and we can basically just set states. Yeah. And ticker starts, of course. So now we have our particle moving and fading away. Um, one more thing we might have to do is to add new particles after every frame. So in our create ticker, we can do something like um, particles.add particle. So every frame, we get a new particle added. So now we have the smokish effects, but we're having... I think it's a bit much and this is probably going to cause some lag so i'll just so we need to look for a way to dispose of these particles let me kind of comment this out for now so we need to think of a way to dispose of these particles once their life is basically over so let's have a finished so we know if uh, it should be a boolean if a particular particle is finished. And how do we know if it's finished? The opacity. If the opacity is zero, then it's finished. And here we can check if um, the opacity, if particle that's finished, then we should remove it. But we can't just do particles dot remove because we are currently iterating the the lists and we can't we can't perform an operation while iterating the list so we need to create a new list let's call it um particles to remove particles to remove and here we can add particles to remove dot uh let's add particle uh we need to pass the particles to remove into our custom painter class required the starts particles to remove mm, and then particles to remove particles to remove so here we need to check uh particles to remove for each Change a for loop. Uh, particles to remove. To remove particle. Uh, particle dot to remove has not been initialized. Okay. You can just create a, an empty list. This dot empty global can be should be true. I'm not sure if that's true by default. I can just check since it's false by default. Mm. Okay, so now let's add a particle every frame. So now we have a simple particle system. Oh, it's basically froze. Mm, let's check what's wrong. I'm going to print this opacity. 
to be sure it's getting to zero. Okay, so the code finally ran, and um, here we are again with another bug. Something seems to be wrong. Okay, okay. So we're having this error here, and uh, the main problem is that I am supposed to remove this from the particles, not particles to remove. Okay, so now everything seems to be working just fine. I think. Yeah, so we have a smoky effect using our particles. Um, so yeah, this is, I, th I think this is for the video. Uh, my, my goal is to just create something simple and basic. And if you're watching this video, you can take this and, you know, go crazy with it. Probably reduce the size or the size of the particles, make it even more and, uh, or make it so the particles come out once you drag on the screen. And, you know, you can think of things like that. If you're able to do something related to this, you can tweet to me at I am GD Guru. And, um, yeah, that's all for me. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do like, share and subscribe yes make sure you share to your friends bye see you next time